Dylan Bailey, a, a young fighter. And I'd imagine Abdul Aziz is going to be a young fighter himself. Abdul Aziz, he specifically asked for Dylan. Really? Yes, that's, that's what Gab Mealy told me. He specifically wow. asked for this fight. He's fighting out of Nottingham, Graf, F Nottingham MMA, rather. This is his amateur debut. He'll be looking for the takedown. When I watch some of his training videos, the striking seems a bit erratic, which is kind of normal for someone that's yeah, making yeah. their debut. Yeah. Um, so he's got to be wary of you know, making sure he sets that up against a guy like Dylan Bailey, because Dylan will. Listen, Dylan's a very well rounded young fighter. Coming out of the Titanium Combat Academy under the tutelage of Gavin Hughes. He's been in there with some real good, good, good competitors so far, so fair play to Abdul Aziz asking for this fight because he's definitely got his work cut out here in Dylan Bailey. Nice little tune. It is. Dylan obviously training out of Titanium. He's been with Gav Hughes ever since he was a kid. You know, he's, 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 he's been in the gym. He's yeah, D Dylan's been training for a good few years now. He's got he's got a moustache now. When he started, he, he was one of them. He, he was literally a 12 year old, you know <laughs> what I mean? So he's only just turned 18. Yeah, so it, it, yeah, as of yesterday, I think it was. I think it's 18 was it really? Was wow. so. Well, it's, it's always great because, you know, I. I've seen Dylan from the start and it's always brilliant to watch these young boys become men um, and hopefully tonight he's, he's going to be able to, to put together a performance. Listen, like if, if, if a guy's asking for you, that's going to motivate you to fight. Like, yeah. This guy's literally threw it on Dylan Bailey's toe. You know what I mean? He's, he's, he's coming to his hometown and he's requested to fight him. So I know Dylan will be offended by that. <laughs> okay. Most most fighters will be. Well, yeah, it's, a per it's very personal, isn't it? That's it. And he, he, he's going to want Abdul Aziz to, to regret this. And, he, you know, maybe he has bit off more than he can chew. We don't know. But... The fact he asked for this fight really pricked my interest in this one, you know. <laughs> like, I know for a fact Dylan Bailey's gonna want this this over quick because he's gonna want this guy to regret oh, asking for him. Beautiful right hand. That was a beautiful Listen, start. The entry was fast. Dylan's done well, well. Yeah, Dylan's done really well to get straight back to his feet. And look, these 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 early grappling exchanges are so important at setting the tone. If if Abdul Aziz is able to get some control time in the first round, you're going to see the dynamics of the, the the fight go his way. But when he's failing these takedowns early, this is going to fill Dylan Bailey with confidence.
I really like that corkscrew, corkscrew uppercut from Al Mazri. I mean, I was giving him a bit of stick for his striking, but it's kind of like the McGregor esque. He's got like a kind of corkscrew. I'm not calling him McGregor, obviously, but it's the corkscrew uppercut that I've seen from McGregor. Yeah. Dylan doing a good job of holding the center here and just seems like he's imposing himself a, a little bit better than Abdul Aziz has been able to. He's managing distance a little bit better, which I think is a real higher order skill. He's seeing everything, isn't he? Yeah. He's taking his time, showing lots of composure. He's setting something up. Oh, there you go. And I'm not sure Dylan needed to shoot that takedown, but now Abdul Aziz has got to think about the wrestling of Dylan Bailey as well as his hands now. So, regardless of the outcome, it's, it's going to give his opponent something else to think about. Abdul Aziz doing a good job of just controlling the wrist of Dylan Bailey. Oh, nice, nice head position though from Dylan. He's got connection on them hands now, he's got the body lock. And this, this, this underhook from Abdul Aziz, it's so weak. It has very little value here. He'd be much better just looking to break open the guy's body lock by attacking the arm with the crease of the elbow. And just using a straight arm to attack the grip. Great takedown by Dylan Bailey there, but Abdul Aziz didn't settle. And as Dylan went to wrap up a choke there, Abdul Aziz took the back. 14 seconds on the clock. Can't imagine it's going to be enough time for anyone to do any damage but does that control time do anything for Al Masri's uh, close round to yeah to I, I, I mean for me Dylan took the round but certainly close if I'm if I'm in the corner of Dylan Bailey I'm saying look just just stick to your strike and just pick him off make him miss the takedowns and and you're going to win this fight. If I'm talking to Almazri now, I'm asking for better setups. You know, the, the, the coach looks like he's asking for him to move a little bit more. Because if, if you want to get a takedown, Paul, the best time to shoot a takedown is when you're moving back with your partners coming forward, so your opponent. And then you've got to cover less distance. Yeah. The momentum's going to fade here. Second round, here we go. Nice leg kick. Yeah, he's, he's, he's landed a few on that, that lead leg of Almazri. As Dylan Bailey. Oh, oh beautiful. Yeah. And for me, Dylan Bailey just needs to do this for the next two rounds. Chip away and, and stop the takedowns. And it's going to be a comfortable night for him, in my opinion. Six or seven low kicks all landing on him upstairs. Got to be patient here. Oh, Masley doing a good job just to control that leg. Good head position. Dylan doesn't want to spend too much time with his back on the wall, though. He's not doing any damage here, Al Masley, but he is in control. Bailey reverses the position now. Got to get his leg free. Yeah. Beautiful from Al Masri. Neither guy really been able to establish significant ground control though. There's been a few takedowns, but both guys being 
profession to get him back to the feet. And I just think these are where these fights become really difficult to score for me because obviously damage is the criteria. Neither fighters had the opportunity to really do any damage. So now you're trying to look at the control time, the, the octagon control, the general aggression. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if the referee was going to split them up now. I don't see anything happening. Nobody's advancing the position. OK, now we see a little bit of action. Oh, Masri gets a good bit of ground and pound off now. And, and that could be enough to steal the round when, yeah. when the round's been this close. Oh, Dylan, Dylan Bailey gets on it. top. And again, then, then something like that happens. He's like, where, where does that leave us on the scorecards? I'd love to see Bailey go for Brokey and just let some shots go because you need to match that little, little patch of damage that his opponent scored just moments earlier. By settling here, you know, he's potentially just gave the round away. Potentially. So if you're if you're in Dylan Bailey's shoes and this guy's called you out and the first two rounds have gone the way they have, what are you thinking? See, this is when it's difficult because you don't know whether to tell your fighter he needs to go for. We don't know if this is one-one or what. You know, does he go for broke? Or has he just won that round and he, he just needs to stick to what's working, i.e. keeping it long, holding the centre and, and trying to counter-wrestle. Um, so I really don't know how to score that last round, so... But fundamentally, Dylan certainly, certainly seems that the more capable striker out the two and maybe there's a, a little edge for Almazri on the ground and he seems to be very well matched in the wrestling department yeah. and that's kind of what's caused the stalemate so far I think the key to victory for Dylan in this round is the leg kicks yeah they've been landing they've not been countered at all And again, when, when you know that leg kick's found the home a few times, what can you set up off it? So he's already gone high, Bailey, but now it's the hands. Can he fake the kick and let the boxing go? I must, was, I must admit, Almazi's so quick to, to see the strike and, yeah, and engage in the wrestling. I was literally just about to say the timing there was, was, was impeccable. And sometimes good timing will be good technique. Yeah. I was speaking to Dylan before uh, when he came in and he was very very calm, very relaxed, which is what you want, but I wonder whether I wonder whether he thought this was gonna be an easier fight. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. The only issue with that low kick now is it does expose you to that double leg, but he's gotta go for it. He's gotta take the fight to Almazri in my opinion. Not sure how them other rounds have been scored. Definitely close. Better from Bailey there, just, just anticipating the wrestling of Almazri. Nice. And that's definitely been as the, the best weapon of the fight is, is the low kick of Dylan Bailey. Just Removal. no setup again from Almazri. And this is exactly all Dylan Bailey needed to do for me for the first two rounds. Maybe even just get back to his feet here. Does he need to be engaging in the grappling when you know he, he seems to have a little bit of an advantage when he's on the feet he's got time to work here I'd, I'd, I'd like to see him get some shots off and just let the judges oh. know that he's looking for finishes he's looking for damage and he's looking for the neck of Almaz you know from Ivan Sasa. 
That's it. That's what he's got to do. He's, he's, he's got to get some, some strikes off in these positions. Oh, nice. It's a good little finish to the round there for Bailey. Puts his man down again. I think Bailey might have edged that fight, to be honest. I, I, I agree. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the wrestling exchanges were very even. Yeah. But I think if you were to pick something that was more of a standout between the two, it would have been the leg kicks. Definitely. Yeah, I think Dylan Bailey's edged that. Fair play to Abdul Aziz Almasri calling out a, you know, a young lion like Dylan Bailey, a guy with good experience, a good team around him, and he's, he's asking for that fight in the other guy's backyard. So you, I gave him a good fight. You can't argue with that, can you? The right attitude. Al Masri is calling him and telling him to get a dancer, but Al Masri don't, I don't think Al Masri looks like he thinks he's won that fight. No. Maybe the corner's trying to convince him he did. O optically, you, you, you want to look like you've won to the judges. Yeah. If you don't believe it, there's no way they're going to. Solid experience of both yeah. guys. Small margins, but those small margins for Dylan Bailey were the low 